terahertz radiation lies between the infrared and microwave regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. It offers an enormous yet untapped potential for addressing a range of global challenges. The Hyper Terahertz Research Programme aims to develop new, high-precision instrumentation that will use terahertz radiation not only to address real-world challenges, but also to investigate new fundamental science. When light hits an object, some of the frequencies making up the instant wave can be selectively absorbed, and this changes the composition of the resulting light, which can then be analysed to provide information on the chemical and physical structure of the materials in the object. This technique is called spectroscopy, and it's a vital tool for scientists who are interested in investigating the properties of materials. Spectroscopy can be used to identify and detect specific materials in a wide range of applications. And by performing spectroscopy at different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum, a rich understanding of the material properties can be obtained. As an example, terahertz radiation interacts strongly with key gases, uh, that govern climate change process in the atmosphere. It turns out that each gas has its own unique spectral fingerprint that we can measure. This is because uh, gases are made up of uh, atoms or molecules which rotate or vibrate in a distinctive way. We can use terahertz radiation to probe these resonances and determine how much of each gas is present. Terahertz radiation can also probe the motion between molecules in a crystal, making terahertz spectroscopy sensitive to crystalline structure. Well, researchers at the University of Leeds, Lancaster, Cambridge and University College London are generating two important solutions to address this problem. Each of them is a compact, precise and portable source of terahertz radiation. The first is called a quantum cascade laser and this is a sophisticated semiconductor laser made of multiple layers of semiconductor material, each of them fabricated to atomic layer precision. Our other source being developed at UCL is called a uni-travelling carrier photodiode and together they provide our instruments with coverage over the entire terahertz region of the electromagnetic spectrum. A major benefit of our instrumentation is that it uses a very compact source of terahertz waves and so can be deployed in applications where other terahertz systems can't. One of our aims is to deploy these instrumentations on aircraft and satellite missions for the analysis of key gas species in the atmosphere to help our understanding of climate change and how pollutants break down and react in the atmosphere. Our instrumentation also offers extremely high frequency precision the frequency of the radiation emitted by our sources can be tuned to better than one part in a billion. This will allow us to use terahertz waves to investigate and even manipulate quantum systems, which could be the basis for the next generation of high-speed computers. For further information on the Hyper Terahertz programme, please visit our website www.hyperterahertz.org.